Science 4, Quarter 2, Week 6, Milk Base. Let's learn about Effect of the Environment on the Life Cycle of Organisms. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 4, we will discuss about the effect of the environment on the life cycle of organisms. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Describe the effect of the environment on the life cycle of organisms. The environment plays an important role in the life cycle of organisms. Along their developmental process, organisms interact with non-living materials such as water, air, and soil as primary components of their habitat. As organisms grow, it is expected that they socialize with other organisms which could their means of food. Ecosystem is the largest and most complex level of organization consists of all animals, plants, and microorganisms which function with all environmental factors such as sunlight, climate, soil, water, air, nutrients, and energy. The ecosystem is primarily composed of six components. These are Number one is the sun. The sun is the source of light. Number two, the producers, which are the plants. Number three is the abiotic substances, consists of water, soil, air, rain, and sunlight. Number four is the primary consumers, which are the animals that eat plants like rabbit. Number five is the secondary consumers, which are the animals that eat meats, for example, wolf. And number six are the decomposers. The environment is composed of biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are those things that have life. They are also called living things. For example, bacteria, fungi, plants, archaea, animals, protists. Abiotic factors are components that have no life. They are also called non-living things. Like for example, air, soil, light, water, minerals, etc. Producers mainly compose of green plants such as trees and grasses. They can make their own food through the process of photosynthesis. Primary consumers consist of plant-eating animals called herbivores. For example, elephant, koala, grasshopper, rabbit, bird, cow, deer, caterpillar, etc. Secondary consumers consist of animals that eat on other animals. They are called carnivores, like lion, tiger, wolf, etc. Decomposers break down dead plants and animals and turn it into nutrients, like for example, worm, fungi, and insects. Food is essential to every living organism to carry out life processes and important interactions. Organisms interact with other organisms in many beneficial ways. However, some interactions causes harm to other organisms. 
the environment where an organism lives is important for their survival. And now, let us do learning task 1. Draw the following animal using the illustrations as guides. Connect these animals to show what they eat, and they are being eaten by other animals. The sun is the source of light and heat and gives energy to the plants. The grasshopper eats the plants. The frog and the mouse eats the grasshopper. The snake eats the mouse and the frog. The eagle eats the snake. When the eagle dies, the earthworm consumes the dead organisms that help fertil the soil. Let's answer the following question. What will happen to all organisms if there is no sunlight? Very good! If there is no sunlight, all organisms will die. Second question, what is the effect of plants in the life cycle of other organisms in the environment? Correct! The plants produce foods for the organisms. For learning task 2, among the pictures given above, identify the following. What is the primary source of energy? Correct! The primary source of energy is the sun. What is the producer? Correct! The producer is the rice plant. What are the primary consumers? The primary consumers are the grasshopper, rat, and frog. What are the secondary consumers? Correct! These are snake and eagle. What component or element of ecosystem consumes dead organisms that help fertil the soil? Correct! The component or element of ecosystem that consumes the dead organisms is called decomposers. The decomposers is the earthworm. Remember, the environment plays an important role in the life cycle of organisms. Along their developmental process, organisms interact with non-living materials such as water, air, and soil as primary components of their habitat. As organisms grow, it is expected that they socialize with other organisms which could their means of food. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!